Thank you, thank you so much. So before we begin, I would like to all of you, I would like all of you to give a big clap for yourself because finally you are here until the end. Let us begin. Assalamualaikum and very good evening to all of you. My name is uh, Nurobiatu Sofia Binti Muhammad Nizam. I am from UITM Shalam. And my name is Ayuneri Namasra Binti Khalid. I'm and I'm from Mara College Stromban. And we are the members of Johor Student Leaders Council Cohort 3 under Johor Education Department. So our dream for this Teres Sungai Seget is to organize Malaysian Youth Leadership Camp or known as Miley Camp. We want to provide a platform for all youth from all over the world so that they can engage, learn cultural diversity and also develop a huge sense of responsibility. But are you, I was wondering, why is it initially named as Malaysian? Is it different from other camp in Malaysia itself? Thank you, Sophia, for the question. Mm -hmm. It is initially named as Malaysian Youth Leadership Camp because we would like to introduce this camp as a Malaysian product in producing world-class leaders who are socially responsible. And the, tar the targeted age for this camp will be 15 to 19 years old. So why do we have the dream? Basically, it's from our personal experience, right? Well, I have this friend. He was very talented and he is having a physical disability since he, since he was born. So I was, we come up with this idea because he doesn't have a platform in order to express his opinion, his dream and all that. So we come up with the idea, why don't we need to organize Malaysian Leadership Camp because it is a platform for the people with disabilities and also less fortunate together with the normal people so that they can mingle around in the society, right? So are you, I think you have your own personal experience as well? Yes, um, one of my relatives is autistic and from my observation, in person, if you know her, she is very friendly, but as she meets um, guests and other people, strangers especially, she would be shy and her mother might not, want to in, might not even want to introduce her to the guests because she might be ashamed of her own daughter. Okay, um, basically what we observe is that most of the parents nowadays are quite embarrassed by having these kids, I mean people with disabilities, because they know that these kids don't have any future at all. But I believe that if we give a platform for them, I believe that this is good, a platform for them to express their as well, to express their ideas. And we have been participating um, 2013 My League Camp, were organized by Johor Student Leaders Council, Ayunai. So I think Ayu can brief a bit about that program. Yeah, so in 2013, mm -hmm. we participated in the first My League Camp, mm -hmm. who was organized by the members of Johor Student Leaders Council, cohort 2. And surprisingly, they were only 18 years old and they managed to pull it off. So we would like to apply the same concept. It's a leadership camp, but we would like to involve those people who have disabilities and also who are less fortunate so that we can promote equality in that. And during the first Miley camp, two international trainers from Alpine School of Leadership Camp has implemented their international training modules for us who definitely left a positive mark in our lives. As a Jess L, or even me and uh, me myself, or even IU, we have our own passion. Is we want to do some transformation in the society. I know it's hard, but I would like we would like to give a help to the people with disabilities because I believe they need to be a given to stand out, even though they might be a different to us, right? So um, we cannot deny that we had been through a lot of challenges before this by participating our past project, which is 2013 Malaysian Youth Leadership Camp. Um, in my personal experience, there is one activity I use called a butter treat, where we need to do a butter system with our matchbox with the, all the sellers at the Jonker Walk. So, but as we expected, most of the sellers did not give any confidence and some of them might chase it away. And actually, uh, I was so disappointed and almost give up, but we managed to overcome that problem by having a support from our team. And also, I believe in this activity, we need to improve our negotiation skills in order to call the sellers so that we can cooperate with each other. What about you? So, my biggest challenge during the first mile camp was to organize a grand dinner less than 24 hours. How crazy is that, people? But we managed to put it off with the presence of strategic planning, being positive and calm and working under pressure, communication skills, and last but not least, most importantly, teamwork spirit. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I need your cooperation a bit. Can I see a show of hands? How many of you have the knowledge on how to handle people with disability? See? Only a few of you. 
So have you ever wondered the thoughts and the wonders that we will get if we fully utilize the power of equality? But how? One of the answers is by being socially responsible. In brief, social responsibility is a duty of every individual in this world in this world that they need to perform in order to maintain the economy and ecosystem which benefit the society at large. But are you who inspire us to be socially responsible by organizing this project? So our source of inspiration is from Stella Young. She was a TEDx Sydney speaker and she gave a talk on changing people's perception on people with disabilities. Quoted from her, people who live and understand those people who have disabilities make us exceptional and special. Yeah, and I believe that um, even though we have a lot of difficulties, but sometimes we need to stand still with our decision. And human hours in dignity and equality, but people tend to overlook the significant things in life. Actually, we are playing a big role in the society, complying the government effort in order to promote awareness regardless of your religion, race, gender, physical disabilities, and also your psychographic background means your lifestyle. But Ayu, we keep talking about this activity, but can you tell the audience what is the main objective of this camp actually? So the objectives of this camp are, first is to give an opportunity for all youth around the world to engage, and secondly, to improve their confidence level and communication skills, because some people tend to look down on them on and their status. Next is to instill social awareness among society. Next is to promote unity. Other than that, is to develop a sense of belonging to a society. That's the most important thing that we need to promote. Yes, and actually, we need to also consider the future challenge that we are about to face in order to make this camp into reality. And the first one is to convince the institution or organization which we are about to give an offer to their students, actually. Uh, it would be expected that some organization did not have any confidence and also did not trust us because we were only 19 to organize this big project. But I believe with our pure attention, in order to help them, we can gain more knowledge and learn to accept one another. So the next challenge is to obtain the parents' approval. As I was aware, every parent would worry their children well-being and in whatever they do. So convincing the parents will be a big challenge yes. for us. So Ayu, can you tell the audience what is a, the appropriate way to handle people with disabilities, actually? So, for example, those who are wheelchair-bounded, we need to kneel down and talk to them. Those who, are, those who are visually impaired, we need to closely talk to them and gently hold their hands. And those who... Those who? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and before we end our speech, I would like to thank to Tara Sungai Segek for giving us a, this golden opportunity to voice out our opinion and our dreams. And I believe that this can would give a better social impact to the society by strengthening the economy and also improving the unity among Malaysians and also to other people. And are you ready? Yes. My, My camp, camp, a journey to stardom. Thank, thank you. you.